Welcome to the Game Ramble special look video for The Cursed Forest. My name is Starcloud and I'm joined by Mumbeo, Mrs. Cloud. So The Cursed Forest is developed by KPY30 and Nustish and published by Nustish and Pleasant Rain Limited. We selected it as our special look video for the week because of its 50% discount on the Steam week-long deal. So The Cursed Forest is a first-person exploration horror game. Okay. <laughs> it's not that we always speak horrors, it's just this one looked really good. This one actually has an interesting story. The game was originally released on IndieDB for free. Wow. And then the original creator worked with Team Nustich to create a new version using an updated version of CryEngine and adding enhanced graphics, a new storyline and other improved features. Okay. So the original game can still be downloaded for free on IndieDB. But this is the updated version that's now on Steam. Okay. It also started out as early access, I believe, in February 2019, and then got a full release a few months later. So I think we should look at the options first. You can choose a language, graphical settings, set to resolution, the graphical level. So we've got all low, medium, high, and ultra. So I'm going to go ahead and select here. Anti-aliasing, full screen, so the uh, brightness, contrast, and there's also advanced settings for motion blur, V-Sync, fuel review, and FPS limit. Then in sound settings, I've already adjusted the music, sound volume, and voice volume. Control settings, can play with a gamepad or a keyboard and mouse. Set mouse inversion as well as sensitivity, and configure the keys. From the looks of it, it's straightforward WSID. Jump with space, run with left shift, sit with left control, use in inventory and then notes. You can also zoom with mouse too. And then there's some interface settings, show cross, which I presume is cross areas, head bob, and the crouch icon. Cool. So, let's start with the game and see what it's all about. See, so it's got five sections. So, telephone. <laughs> Vintage. Road. Mm. It's taking a shortcut through an ominous forest. Okay. It's never a good idea. No. Especially not if there are crows around. Like the phone lines in that forest is also down. Mm. So it must have a serious reason to risk it like that. Uh, the hitchhiker. itself into the car it seems. Now we know how we ended up in the cursed forest. Mm -hmm. 
question is, will we make it out alive? Things to happen if you've been in a car crash, I think. Game is powered by the <laughs> CryEngine 5, so it should still look good despite its age. To me, it looks pretty good. So, it looks like they're just gonna. Let us loose in the forest and let us find our own way. <laughs> yeah, Achievement yeah. unlocked, rise and shine. <laughs> oh, that sounds very lively. Yeah. And it looks like we're not alone in here. This is a very cozy campfire. Mm -hmm. Nice and inviting. But, uh, whoever set it up is nowhere to be seen. Never leave a fire unattended in a forest. I want to know where the car is. Why yeah. does it look like uh, the character got dragged somewhere to a cave or something? Yeah, what did you just be hurled out of the. Somewhere? No, that's creepy. Yeah, I... car crash. I can't go flying this far, but the vehicle is nowhere in sight. Yeah, and that, the stones look very ritualistic to me with all the markings on them and mm -hmm. like in a half moon around you. So, whoever made that campfire, we probably don't want to meet them. Nope. Better get away from them quickly. Which way to go? Something over here. So, we have a hidden text here. I'm scared to stay out in the open. I have a feeling that someone is watching me right from the trees. The way through the cliff seems like a good idea. It should allow me to get out of here faster and stay unnoticed. When I tried to traverse the cliff, one of the stones fell on my leg. It's like this place itself won't let me leave. My leg isn't damaged, but the stone has spinned my leg pretty badly. I have to free my leg before something else falls. Okay. So but someone was buried alive? Hmm. Someone was um, I'm not the only person in this forest. I'm not the first victim. I suppose it would make sense that the forest is cursed that it has claimed many victims. Mm, and it wouldn't let you leave, supposedly. So one thing about horror games, I don't think I would ever sit somewhere and write down notes if I found myself in a <laughs> life-threatening situation. <laughs> Calmly describing my. Ooh, what no, is no. that? <laughs> um. uh, can I die in this game? Oh, let's find out. Um, left, quicker. <laughs> Do you need to investigate that? I don't know. I don't want to keep to see that thing that looks like it's made out of. Horrible stuff. Is that a hand? Oh no, it's the poor guy that got bitten by the rocks, I presume. Ah. It must be his soul or something. <gasps> Shame. <clears throat> I was a coward. Okay, that is a very short translation for what looks like a lot of thoughts. <laughs> but I will trust the game on that. So wow. does that mean his soul is now trapped forever in this cursed forest? No, it looks like you just set him free. Okay. I would shake his hand, but um, yeah. I have to be on my way now, I think. <laughs> so I guess I'm not going down the cliff. Can I jump down here, though? You try. Yes. Okay. I did not break anything. Now, do I want to go into the... Scary cave or follow that path to whatever that is. Hmm. Stay out in the open for a bit more. 
some type of fence over here. Is this where I came from? No. I think I found a note here and then I went up there. So I actually walked in a circle now. I'm really lost. No, I know exactly where I am. You no, know what they say about walking in circles. It was a tactical maneuver <laughs> to find the soul of the poor trapped person. Yeah. Lovely evening for a stroll in the woods. I look more um, eerie altars in the forest. I have a note for you. Ever since I started researching and writing about abandoned places, there's always been one in particular that I've wanted to visit. I've heard many stories about the place, everything from cars mysteriously breaking down as they try to pass through, to travelers venturing into the forest, never to be seen again. Then there's the tales about the settlement itself. The people that lived there were building a railroad, until one day they all disappeared, without a trace. The incident has almost been forgotten now, discarded as an urban legend, a ghost story to keep children from straying too far into the woods. Now I have the opportunity to finally visit the area, and who knows, maybe I'll even solve the mystery of what happened here. When I first entered the settlement, I couldn't believe how many things had been left behind, whole homes abandoned with all the family's belongings still inside. I find it hard to believe that these people would have left all their worldly possessions of their own free will. I feel as if every step I take leads me closer to discovering the truth. Still, no matter how exciting I find my discoveries, I feel uneasy in this place, as if I'm being watched. On the outskirts of the settlement's territory, I have made an incredible find, a set of altars. They look older than anything in the village, as though they were here before, long before the settlers were. Out of curiosity, I lit one of them, and as I did, the ground began to shake, almost as though there had been a small earthquake. I'm sure it was nothing more than a coincidence, but still, standing in the light of the altar, I felt relief, as if I was safe from the terrible presence that had been following me. I think the altars could be an important clue as to what happened here all those years ago. I will have to do more research tomorrow. Interesting. I think tomorrow came for this person. Do I really want to... Okay, so there's a safe spot. Mm. Let there be light. Mm. And some eerie glowing ruins. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't save right now. Hopefully that is not a fatal mistake. <laughs> they like living on the edge. YOLO. Mm. Uh, this bridge looks very sturdy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have saved. Oh. <gasps> run, 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 run. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Need new pants, but I made it. <laughs> this forest looks very much like a fairy tale forest where there could be a wolf or a witch behind every tree, don't you think? Mm -hmm. The eerie green glow. What's that? That was things falling from the roof. So do you think this game has jump scares? I have no idea. As I say that, I almost thought that rock was a person standing there. <laughs> Misty. It's very atmospheric with all these ambient noises and effects and yeah. something is rustling in those. Uh-huh. Rocks are getting very excited. Go back to the yeah, of road. I don't want to show too much of the game. Uh, apparently, it's not that long. It looks like the average player about four hours to complete. Okay. Oh, there's a house. And the, what was there to the right? Okay, almost looked like a person. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing people everywhere in this forest. Yeah. What is it called if you see people and places? That. Ah. Uh, it's Paradolia. Yeah. That. 
There's fires everywhere, but nobody to light them. That's very freaky. Mm. How do I knock? <laughs> person who lives here might be armed. I'm go in there with that. I can steal this carrot. Um, okay, um, I won't steal the carrot. <laughs> Okay. Why do I hear laughter? There was a strange atmosphere in the settlement today. The people seemed more subdued and silent than usual, although it could have been a projection of my own foreboding. Sarah's predicament plays on my mind, so much so that out of the corner of my eye I could swear I saw her sitting in my room. But when I looked, of course, she was not there. I will need to approach her father about his attitude towards her. He is a harsh leader and no different in his parenting. While the villagers seem enraptured by his vision, I am less convinced and I find it hard to trust his word as certainly as the others. Although the streets were quiet today, in the night they seemed to have come alive. When I left my house to inquire as to the commotion, the noise faded into nothingness, as though it had never existed in the first place. Tomorrow I will have to be braver and speak to Sarah's father. Then perhaps the feeling of unease will leave me and the inexplicable things that have been happening here will show themselves to be nothing but a fracture of my own nervous mind. So my mind is also starting to feel quite fractured here. I would not want to live in this forest. Settlement. Okay, took the carrot, I'm leaving. <gasps> hey. Should have not taken the carrot. <laughs> Can we put it back? <laughs> Did you also see something here? Uh, or was it just my imagination? It's definitely a poltergeist there. I think so. Can I take the axe? It's probably not very effective against poltergeist. Oh, Why is this barred from the outside? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to peek in there. No, no, no. <laughs> I've seen enough. I'm just gonna investigate this, whatever this is. It's a map. Ah, cool. Map 1. So I am here. There's a very large knife over here. <laughs> There's a weird bunny over there. Maybe that's what you need the carrot for. For the weird bunny. Mm -hmm. There's a vicious moose over there. Piranhas over here. Don't know what that is. Lots of love in this area, so I think we should go past that piranhas way. to Love Island or whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, I also think that um, looks wise. Okay, just gonna walk a little bit further up this path and then end this video, but so far this game is very, very intriguing. <laughs> creepy. And creepy, indeed. That's another one of these. I'm wondering. By lighting up all these altars or whatever, and you saw doing something evil, playing into the hands of the evil spirits of the forest. I hope not. I think this fly is following me now. Or oh, it's the world's biggest mosquito. Some light over there. I can read it now. Frog over there. Catch a frog. No. Yeah. That should be the piranha. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna try to swim to that thing. Shall we jump in? <laughs> no, we're ending the video right here. Thanks for joining us. This is the Cursed Forest. It's out on a 50% discount on Steam now as part of their week-long deal. But like I said, you can still try out the original release on IndieDB for free. We'll put a link in the description. So, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, remember to like, subscribe and share if you like our stuff. Till next time. Bye.